I was 15 and um, I had been to a party and I knew the guys a little bit. I really wanted to get married and I really wanted to work. I bought him a beautiful watch. And of course I told um, the, the father and uh, his family knew, but um, there really wasn't all that much support. And so all I saw was failure in his eyes and, well, I don't love you that much uh, to marry you and, and so get rid of the problem. And it was the beginning of a journey down, downward. There was a solution for the, um, uh, the pain and the grief and the sorrow, the depression, the anger, um, uh, unforgiveness, and, um, and all of that became very um, real then, need to be dealt with. As a man, you feel less than a man, you feel helpless, hopeless that your voice is not even being heard, not taken into consideration. There are approximately 5 to 30 percent of women report feelings of regret, anxiety, guilt, mild depression, and other negative emotions. It is rare for a woman to become clinically depressed after having an abortion. Many women have multiple risk factors operating at the same time, but, um, but the point is that when you put them all together, it's likely to be a large number, like 70 or 80 percent. If you ask young women, when did things start going free, go off the rails for you, and they will almost to a, a young woman, if they've had an abortion, say, after I had my abortion. And not immediately, about a month or two afterwards, I started drinking, I started doing drugs, I started sleeping around, I started being depressed. I started doing poorly in school. All of those things happened. These women have no help really available to them. Even when they go to trained counselors, counselors are themselves are, are what they learn in graduate school and in their um, training is that abortion is not a trauma. It's like any other small medical procedure. So they, they're not even trained to help these women. These women don't have anywhere to go. And so it's, it, makes a lot of sense that they're just self-medicating with substances. Really, no one there, when I started falling apart, to say, oh, it had something to do with probably those abortions that you had, you know? No, they, I was told, you know, you're a woman and you're probably just emotional. There have been many reports talking 10, 15, 20 years after abortions, women will finally either have a basically a severe depression, they'll have a, almost a post-traumatic stress type bad flashback dreams or they will sink into uh, substance abuse or other things which they can't understand why they're doing these things. And so their traumatic stress goes on, I mean you get to the age of 92, 94, 96. This is a long period of grieving and, and shame and distress. They, they have problems with sleeping, they nightmare, they go back over the traumatic event. Of, of an abortion. I tried it for 14 years to put it in a box and set it aside and it doesn't work. It, it keeps rearing its ugly head and it's hydra headed. It comes out sideways because it's not resolved. We talk about grief. These mothers were never allowed. Since they need to feel comfortable and free to talk about their feelings and they, we don't even have that in our society where women who have abortions can comfortably share what they've been through with a trained professional. The bottom was me being tempted to suicide to try and end the pain because none of the things I was doing was ending the pain. And uh, I was at a moment of suicide actually within that and out of that uh, I basically asked God to reveal himself to me, otherwise I wouldn't live to see tomorrow. And I was serious, I just, I could not handle life anymore. I would be driving across a bridge, and all of a sudden I would hear a voice saying, just look, there's, there's a, a cutoff point right there. You could just drive your car right through that opening and you'd be dead. And then she looked at me and she said, um, if there's a God, he would never forgive me anyway because I've committed murder. And then her story absolutely flowed from her. It's hard to explain the, the experience of what I felt, but it was almost like a, a waterfall 
rushing upwards where God was taking my burdens up from me. And once she had this sense of total forgiveness, her pain requirements went way down. And she actually had some joy at the end of her life instead of all this tremendous suffering.